Hi, I'm Sarah Hymanson, and I'm one of the chef owners of Kismet Restaurant in Los Angeles. Today we're making one of my favorite dishes, lemony chicken pies. You're gonna start by heating some olive oil. Now I'm gonna add chicken and some salt. We really want all of the little bits of chicken separated. I like to use a whisk to break up the meat. Once it's ready, transfer to a bowl and set aside. Using that same pan, add a bit of olive oil and then your garlic, onion, fennel, leek, bay leaf, a bit more salt, and your ground cloves. Cook this mixture until it's soft and the onions are translucent. You can so easily make them ahead of time and pop them in the freezer and then bake them whenever you want. You can also substitute the ground chicken for ground pork or beef and really do so many different things. It's really just a base recipe for a little meat pie. I cook until the liquid is mostly absorbed. Now I'm gonna add your chicken back into the pan. Mix in your pine nuts and set aside to cool. Now it's time to make the pies. I'm gonna brush olive oil on my cutting board before I lay down my first piece of phyllo. You can never really have too much oil on your phyllo dough. Now we're gonna cut it in half and put spoonfuls of our chicken mixture in the corner of each half. Now I'm gonna fold this into a triangle. Now brush a little bit of the egg wash onto each pie and then top with sesame seeds and salt. Bake at 400 for about nine minutes. The pies should be golden brown. While they're baking, I'm gonna make my tahini sauce. In the beginning, when you add the lemon juice, it's gonna look really broken and shiny. And then as soon as you add a little bit more water or lemon juice, it's gonna become creamy looking. I'm gonna put the tahini sauce on the bottom of the plate because it looks cleaner, but you could definitely add a little bit more water to the tahini sauce and make it thinner and just drizzle it over the top. When you first bite into them, they're so crunchy and savory and lemony, so delicious. I think that it is a very complete bite. Mm.